With the Oscars this weekend, I wanted to stick to films. And since it's a celebration of the past year in film, I wanted to discuss some of the best years in film. Film has been around for over a century, so there's a lot of years to go over, and I've decided to just limit it to just five years since when I was born in 1993. I'll go over the year's Best Picture winner and some other films that stand out from that year. 1994. Whenever someone asks what I think the best year in film was, 1994 is my go-to answer. For comedy, it was the year of Jim Carrey, bringing us three of his biggest hits, The Mask, Dumb and Dumber, and Ace Ventura Pet Detective. For action, you get films like Speed and James Cameron's criminally underrated True Lies, as well as Natalie Portman's breakout performance in Leon the Professional. Disney that year released one of their biggest hits with The Lion King. They also released the sequel, D2 The Mighty Ducks, for the hockey fans. At the Oscars, we see the biggest films of the year. The best picture went to Forrest Gump, which is an impossible film not to like. Arguably more deserving of the award, however, were IMDb's highest rated film, The Shawshank Redemption, and my personal favorite of the year, Pulp Fiction. 1999. The 90s went out with a bang, with a year packed with colossal hits. Sci-fi fans were introduced to The Matrix, they also got the return of Star Wars with The Phantom Menace, and on the weirder side, got Galaxy Quest. It was also a strong year for animated films, with films like The Iron Giant, South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, Disney's Tarzan, and Pixar's sequel, Toy Story 2. There were some great comedies as well, with Office Space, Austin Powers' The Spy Who Shagged Me, and the cult classic Ten Things I Hate About You. Some great directors had their breakthroughs, like M. Night Shyamalan's The Sixth Sense and Spike Jones for Being John Malkovich. Stanley Kubrick also had his final film, Eyes Wide Shut. There were a couple of great tear-jerking films in The Green Mile and Girl Interrupted. At the Oscars, Sam Mendes' directorial debut, American Beauty, was winning everything. 2007 the year saw some massive blockbusters with Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End being the highest grossing film of the year. Other franchises had big releases with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and Spider-Man 3. Some other action blockbusters included Transformers and 300. Some of the big animated movies included The Simpsons Movie, Shrek the Third, and Pixar's Ratatouille. It was a great year for musicals, with films like Across the Universe, August Rush, Hairspray, and Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Comedies were also at the top of their games this year, with some of my all-time favorites like Hot Fuzz, Knocked Up, Hot Rod, Rush Hour 3, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, Juno, and my film of the year, Superbad. The Oscars showcase some of the best acting performances of all time, with some of the most obvious picks. Javier Bardem was fantastic in the Best Picture winning No Country for Old Men, and Daniel Day-Lewis gave what I consider to be the greatest acting performance ever in There Will Be Blood. 2014. This was a huge year for big film franchises and for sci-fi. Marvel had two of the best films from their universe, with Captain America the Winter Soldier and Guardians of the Galaxy. Outside of that universe, X-Men had Days of Future Past, the Hobbit trilogy came to an end in The Battle of the Five Armies, we also got Keanu Reeves' Return to Glory in the start of the John Wick series. The Planet of the Apes got a sequel with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum also got back together for 22 Jump Street. It was also the start of the new Monsters universe with Godzilla. In sci-fi, we got Bong Joon-ho's most American film, Snowpiercer, the very underrated Edge of Tomorrow, and arguably Christopher Nolan's most emotional film, Interstellar. Some other underrated films would be the Oscar-snubbed David Fincher thriller, Gone Girl, the Brian Wilson biopic, 
Love and Mercy, and John Favreau's little cooking film, Chef. Best animated feature went to Big Hero 6, but equally deserving would have been How to Train Your Dragon 2, The Tale of Princess Kaguya, or The Lego Movie, which went unnominated. The best picture race was packed with the biopics The Theory of Everything and The Imitation Game, Wes Anderson's comedy The Grand Budapest Hotel, the actual winner Birdman, what I think probably should have won Boyhood, and my favorite film of the year Whiplash. 2019. I've already talked quite a bit about 2019 in my Oscars post from last year, but I've only grown to appreciate it even more ever since. I won't go too far into this year as it's still very fresh. I've now watched all the Best Picture nominees and can confidently say that while they were all great, Parasite deserved its award. Outside of the Best Picture, there were some other very notable films that I'd like to mention. Marvel had its big conclusion in Endgame, as well as two other solo films in Captain Marvel and Spider-Man Far From Home. Bombshell was an eye-opening film with tremendous acting and hair and makeup. Toy Story 4 won the Best Animated Feature, and deservedly so. Frozen 2 was snubbed, but I found it to be even better than the first film. Glass was divisive, but I found it to be an interesting end to the Shyamalan trilogy. I recently watched Midsommar, which I believe deserves far more praise, and was unfairly snubbed in the lead actress, costumes, production design, cinematography, and score categories of the Oscars. And of course, my favorite film of the year is still Knives Out. There's five of the best years in film since I was born. I could have easily expanded this to ten years, with some other years being just as good as the five I mentioned, but maybe I'll save them for another post. I would recommend anyone to check out movies from each of these years, as there's many more that I didn't even mention. This is the end card, which means you've made it to the end of the video, so thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. If you want to see more, maybe hit subscribe.